Imagine a bee that's not just defensive but aggressive, attacking anything that threatens its hive. Welcome to the world of the Africanized honeybee. This bee is not your typical pollinator. In fact, it's a hybrid, a cross between the European honeybee and the African honeybee, and it's earned a reputation for its aggressive behavior and rapid spread across the Americas. Let's delve a little deeper into the world of the Africanized honeybee. Its aggressive behavior is a defensive mechanism designed to protect its hive, but it's taken to an extreme level. A small disturbance can trigger an attack by hundreds, sometimes thousands of bees, and they've been known to chase their perceived threat for over half a mile. This aggressive nature has led to the Africanized honeybee's rapid spread. They outcompete other bee species, taking over their hives and resources. This has had a significant impact on native bee populations across the Americas, leading to a decrease in pollination and in turn affecting entire ecosystems. But it's not just other bees that are affected. The Africanized honeybee also poses a threat to humans. Their stings are no more potent than those of other bees, but they attack in large numbers, and this can lead to severe and sometimes fatal consequences. Efforts are being made to control the spread of the Africanized honeybee, but it's proving to be a challenging task. The bees are highly adaptable, able to thrive in various climates and environments. But scientists are not giving up. They are studying the bees, learning about their behavior, and looking for ways to minimize their impact. Despite their small size, Africanized honeybees remind us that even tiny creatures can pack a serious punch. They're a testament to the power of adaptation and survival, a reminder of the intricate balance of nature, and an example of how a small change can have big, far-reaching effects. Now, we turn our attention to a true giant in the insect world, the Asian giant hornet. With a body length of about two inches and a wingspan reaching three inches, this hornet stands as the world's largest. But it's not just the size that makes this insect formidable. It's their ruthless hunting techniques. Imagine a troop of these hornets, each the size of your thumb, launching an attack on a honeybee hive. Within a few hours, they can decimate the entire colony, leaving behind a haunting scene of thousands of bee heads separated from their bodies. The Asian giant hornet's mandibles, shaped like shark fins, are perfectly designed for this kind of slaughter. But it's not only bees that need to worry. The Asian giant hornet's sting can penetrate human skin, delivering a potent venom that, in rare cases, can be fatal. A single sting can cause excruciating pain, and multiple stings can lead to serious health complications. In Japan alone, these hornets claim 30 to 40 lives annually, earning them the grim nickname of murder hornets. Yet despite their fearsome reputation, Asian giant hornets play a crucial role in the ecosystem, controlling pest populations and helping to pollinate plants. Their large size means they can carry more pollen than smaller insects, contributing to the biodiversity of the areas they inhabit. The Asian giant hornet, a formidable predator, is a stark reminder of the power and danger that can lie within the insect world. As we continue to share our planet with these incredible creatures, it's important to respect their role in nature, while also understanding the threats they can pose. As we delve deeper into the world of threatening insects, let's keep in mind the delicate balance that exists between fear and fascination, danger and respect. Do not be fooled by the name. The kissing bug is far from romantic. In the fascinating yet perilous world of insects, the kissing bug holds a notorious reputation. This seemingly innocuous insect hides a dark secret. It's a carrier of Trypanosoma cruzi, a parasite responsible for Chagas disease, a serious and often deadly illness. Hailing from the Americas, these bugs earned their moniker due to their tendency to bite humans around the mouth or eyes. However, the bite itself is not the danger. The real threat lies in their feces. After a meal, the bug defecates. And if the feces enters the bite wound or another opening such as the mouth or eyes, the parasite can make its way into the human body. Once inside, the parasite multiplies and spreads. In the early stages, Chagas disease may present mild symptoms or none at all, making it particularly insidious. However, if left untreated, the disease can progress to severe cardiac and digestive complications and can even prove fatal. 
Chagas disease has a significant impact on human health in the Americas, where the kissing bug is most prevalent. An estimated 8 million people are living with Chagas disease, many of whom don't even know they're infected due to the disease's sneaky nature. This makes the kissing bug a silent yet deadly health threat. Efforts to control the kissing bug population and to improve housing and living conditions are key in the fight against Chagas disease. However, the bug's nocturnal habits and its ability to live in a variety of environments make it a challenging adversary. The kissing bug serves as a stark reminder of the intricate and sometimes dangerous relationship between humans and insects. It underscores the importance of education and awareness in preventing the spread of diseases like Chagas. The kissing bug, a silent spreader of disease, demonstrates how even the smallest creatures can have a large impact on human health. From a deadly predator, we now move to a destructive invader, the emerald ash borer. This small beetle with its iridescent emerald green hue may appear harmless at first glance, but it's far from it. Native to Asia, this insect has found its way to North America, where it's causing devastation on a massive scale. The emerald ash borer's primary target, the ash tree. These trees, once widespread across North America, are now under serious threat. The beetle's larvae burrow into the bark of ash trees, disrupting the tree's ability to transport water and nutrients. The result is a slow but certain death for the tree, often within just a few years of infestation. This isn't merely a matter of losing a few trees here and there. Ash trees are a significant part of North American forests, and their loss has far-reaching effects. Many species rely on ash trees for habitat and food. Without these trees, the biodiversity of these ecosystems may be significantly reduced. Furthermore, ash trees play a crucial role in human environments too. They're commonly planted in urban areas, providing shade and helping to reduce air pollution. Their loss not only impacts the aesthetics of our cities, but also the quality of our air. The emerald ash borer's invasion also carries a hefty economic cost. Billions of dollars have been spent trying to control these pests and replace dead trees. Yet, despite these efforts, the beetles continue to spread leaving a trail of dead and dying trees in their wake. The emerald ash borer's story is a sobering example of the damage that invasive species can cause. It underscores the importance of biosecurity measures to prevent such invasions and the need for ongoing research to find effective ways to control these pests. The emerald ash borer, a tiny insect causing massive destruction, is a stark reminder of how invasive species can drastically alter ecosystems. Now we head to Africa to meet a fly with a deadly bite, the Setsa fly. This insect, unassuming in appearance, is a potent vector for a disease known as trypanosomiasis, also commonly referred to as sleeping sickness in humans and nagana in animals. The Setsi fly transmits this disease through its bite, injecting a parasite that can wreak havoc on the health of its host. In the wild expanses of Africa, the Setsi fly's impact is felt most keenly by the wildlife. The disease it carries, Nagana, is especially deadly to livestock, causing a variety of alarming symptoms such as fever, weakness and even death if left untreated. This not only impacts the health of the animals, but also the livelihoods of the people who depend on them. But it's not just the domesticated animals that are affected. Wild animals too face the wrath of the tsetse fly. Large mammals like antelopes, zebras and elephants are susceptible to the disease. The impact on these species can have ripple effects throughout the ecosystem, disrupting the food chain and altering the balance of predator and prey. The tsetse fly also plays a role in shaping the human landscape. Its presence can influence where people choose to settle and farm. Areas with high setsa, fly populations are often avoided due to the risk of disease, shaping patterns of human migration and settlement. Efforts to control the setsi fly and the disease it carries are ongoing. From insecticide-treated targets to the release of sterile male flies, different strategies are being employed. But the battle is far from over. The setsa fly's adaptability and resilience make it a formidable foe. With the setsa fly, we see the devastating effects a single insect can have on the health of an entire ecosystem. Its tiny size belies its significant impact, a stark reminder of the intricate interconnectedness of life on our planet.
Our journey continues with a mosquito that caused a global health crisis, the Zika virus mosquito. This insect, known scientifically as Aedes aegypti, is a prime example of how tiny creatures can have massive impacts on the world around them. The Zika virus mosquito has a set of habits that make it an effective transmitter of diseases. They are typically active during the day, with peak activity during early morning and late afternoon. This is in contrast to many other mosquito species which are most active during twilight and at night. This daytime activity increases the chances of human contact and therefore the spread of the virus. The transmission of the Zika virus is quite straightforward. When a Zika virus mosquito bites an infected person, it picks up the virus. Then when it bites another person, it transfers the virus, effectively spreading the disease. The Zika virus itself typically causes symptoms similar to a mild form of dengue fever and is generally harmless to most people. However, its effects on pregnant women can be devastating. When a pregnant woman is infected with the Zika virus, there is a risk that the virus can cause severe birth defects in the unborn child, including microcephaly, a condition where a child is born with a significantly smaller head due to abnormal brain development. In the past decade, the Zika virus has spread to more than 50 countries and territories, causing a global health crisis. Massive efforts have been made to control the mosquito populations and develop a vaccine for the virus. However, the threat of the Zika virus continues to be a significant concern, particularly in areas with warmer climates where the Zika virus mosquito thrives. The Zika virus mosquito, a small insect with a big impact, shows us the far-reaching effects of a single mosquito bite. Next, we encounter an invader causing havoc in the United States, the red imported fire ant. Native to South America, this species has rapidly spread across the southern United States, creating a significant ecological and economic impact. The red imported fire ant is notorious for its painful sting, which can cause severe allergic reactions in some individuals. Imagine a sensation akin to being burned by a small flame, hence the name fire ant. But it's not just the sting you should be wary of. These ants are also known to attack in large numbers, which can be particularly dangerous for those with heightened sensitivity. In terms of ecological impact, the red imported fire ant is a significant disruptor. These ants are incredibly hardy and adaptable, capable of surviving in various conditions. They tend to build large mounds that can disrupt agricultural activities and even damage machinery. Moreover, their aggressive nature and lack of natural predators in the United States allow them to outcompete native species, leading to a decrease in biodiversity. Apart from the environmental and health concerns, the economic impact of the red imported fire ant is substantial. Millions of dollars are spent annually on controlling their spread and dealing with their effects on agriculture and infrastructure. Despite these efforts, their population continues to grow and expand, causing further problems. The red imported fire ant demonstrates that an unwelcome visitor can quickly become a formidable adversary. It's a stark reminder of the potential threats that invasive species can pose to our ecosystems and economies. As we continue our exploration of the most threatening insect species, We'll uncover more fascinating yet alarming facts about these tiny creatures and their outsized impacts. From a fiery invader, we now turn to an agricultural menace, the brown marmorated stink bug. This insect might not be as intimidating as some of the others on our list, but don't let its unassuming appearance fool you. The real threat of the brown marmorated stink bug lies not in a venomous sting or a deadly disease, but in its insatiable appetite for a wide variety of crops. This bug is a native of Eastern Asia, but it has managed to travel far and wide, causing havoc wherever it lands. Its shield-shaped body and mottled brown coloring make it blend in easily with the plants it feeds on, making it a stealthy enemy for farmers. The brown marmorated stink bug is an extremely versatile eater, feasting on everything from fruits and vegetables to ornamental plants and even soybeans. The damage they cause is twofold. First, they suck the life out of plants, literally, by using their needle-like mouths to pierce plant tissues and consume their juices. 
This leaves behind discolored and deformed fruits and vegetables that are unappealing and unsellable. Second, as they feed, they inject a saliva that further damages the plant tissues, often causing a condition known as cat facing in fruits like peaches and tomatoes. The financial impact of these bugs is staggering. In the United States alone, they caused an estimated $60 million in losses to apple growers in 2010. And that's just one crop in one year. The total cost of the damage they cause each year across all crops is believed to be in the billions. But it's not just about the money. The brown marmorated stink bug also threatens food security. As our population grows, so does our need for food. Every bit of crop damage means less food to go around and more people who go hungry. The brown marmorated stink bug, a shield-shaped pest, illustrates how insects can have a profound impact on our food supply. From fields and farms, we move to forests to meet a seemingly harmless larva with a dangerous defense, the pine processionary caterpillar. This caterpillar, native to southern Europe, the Middle East and North Africa, has a unique and somewhat theatrical name that hints at its peculiar behavior. So why is it called the processionary caterpillar? Well, these critters have a fascinating habit of moving in a long head-to-tail procession, creating an almost hypnotic march across the forest floor. But don't let this captivating sight fool you. These caterpillars are far from harmless. The pine processionary caterpillar has a particularly damaging impact on forests. They have a voracious appetite for pine needles and in large numbers can defoliate entire trees. This not only weakens the trees but can also have a domino effect on the entire ecosystem, affecting other plant and animal species that rely on these trees for survival. But it's not just the trees that need to watch out for the pine processionary caterpillar. The caterpillar is equipped with a dangerous defense mechanism that poses risks to animals and humans alike. Each caterpillar is covered in thousands of tiny barbed hairs. These hairs contain an irritating substance that can cause severe allergic reactions when they come into contact with skin, or worse, if they are inhaled. In humans, the reactions can range from mild skin rashes to severe respiratory problems. In animals, especially dogs and cats that may encounter these caterpillars during their explorations, the effects can be even more severe, with numerous reports of pets being seriously harmed or even killed after coming into contact with these harmful hairs. So, while the pine processionary caterpillar may seem like just another harmless creature of the forest, its impact on ecosystems and potential risk to humans and animals make it a significant threat. The pine processionary caterpillar reminds us that appearances can be deceiving, especially in the insect world. Finally, we end our journey with a species known for its catastrophic swarms, the desert locust. The desert locust is not your ordinary grasshopper. This insect, native to Africa, the Middle East and Asia, has an extraordinary ability to transform both its behavior and physiology in response to changes in environmental conditions. In their solitary phase, desert locusts are relatively harmless. But when rainfall increases and green vegetation becomes abundant, these locusts start to breed excessively. This results in extremely high population densities that drive a shift into their gregarious phase. And that's when the real trouble begins. Gregarious desert locusts form massive swarms that can cover hundreds of square miles and contain billions of individuals. These swarms are driven by an insatiable hunger, consuming every bit of vegetation in their path. They are capable of eating their own weight in plant material each day, which means a large swarm can eat the same amount of food in one day as about 35,000 people. It's a scale of destruction that's hard to comprehend. These swarms don't only wreak havoc on natural ecosystems, but they also pose a severe threat to agriculture. In regions that are already struggling with food security, the arrival of a locust swarm can lead to a full-blown famine. In fact, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations often refers to the desert locust as the most dangerous of all migratory pest species in the world. Efforts to control locust populations and prevent swarm formation are ongoing. However, the scale of the problem, combined with the locust's ability to travel up to 100 miles per day, makes this a monumental task. 
The desert locust, a symbol of destruction and devastation, brings our exploration of the most threatening insects to a close. It's a stark reminder of the power and impact of nature and the delicate balance that exists in our global ecosystems.